Hello guys, and in today's video, I just want to be showing some type of rant somewhere that's, um, it's actually just, it was just created. It's quite simple, um, let's just go to Internet Explorer because, why not? And let's actually put it on Virus Total. Now this rant somewhere is quite, um, quite destructive, actually. It's not like just your typical typical ransomware that just encrypts your JPEGs, PNGs, text files, um, all your archives. No, this one is quite destructive. So let's put it on virus total and let's see what it's detected as. Now this ransomware is quite known already, but it is really new. As you can see, it's just been submitted right now, but it is very known to antivirus software. So let's go ahead and run it. Now when you run it, it's very quick at activating. Let's just go check out Task Manager. We can see that run32.dll is running, which is not really normal. We can see it's running and taking up a fair amount of CPU. So let's just give this um, a bit of time, and it shouldn't take too long for the payload to pop up. After a few seconds, it pops up saying your files are have been encrypted. There is no decryption tool. Haha, <laughs> so sad. And then it changes your wallpaper to this. Um, it's definitely insultive. And if we try to run Chrome, as you can see, you can't open the item. Try to run Internet Explorer. If I can type Internet Explorer, let's try running it. Just pops up with the same thing. And asks for a password. Now. I do not know the password. Keep saying the password is incorrect, and I'm just not going to get it. So um, at this point, let's actually try rebooting. Let's see if anything malicious currently actually happens when we try rebooting. If it will like not ever boot, let's see what will happen. Will the system actually boot? Now I'm guessing it will. Because um, it this actually doesn't really replace any critical files that I think I think it just encrypts your like tip, um, typical files. So yeah, it it should not take too long, and it will probably all the files will still be encrypted most likely, and some um, text file should open saying how to decrypt your files. Yet it doesn't even say anything in there; it's just insulting you. Now there's files wanting to be burned to the disk, and then this pops up again, asking for a password. None of our files run now. They used some of them used to run. Now, as you can see, none of them work. Let's try Task Manager. Still runs perfectly. Um, but everything else is pretty much screwed at this point. So let's let's try to open up some programs. Let's go to let's go into the Windows folder. Let's see if anything's overwritten or how many things are. We have this how to decrypt files, but if we open it, it just says this. It doesn't even tell you how to decrypt it. And then we have these text documents. No audio. I'm not really sure. I think that's usually there. I'm not really sure. Anyway, a lot of these don't do anything. Well, I guess they do. But some of them, like some of these files, like Chrome doesn't want to open. This doesn't open. So at this point, you're pretty screwed. Um, so, let's just check out our folders, or sample music, try to open it, just pops up with the error message. How to decrypt your files, just saying that, then it has our password. Let me try, let me guess the password, now I think this is the password. Oh my god, I got it correct. Well, it told me to wait, now I guess this is like a different language I guess, and now our files are being... Decrypt, um, decrypted. And there you have it, guys. Um, this was actually not a new ransomware. It's not anything special. It's actually just made by a ransomware builder that I just was fooling around with. Uh, I didn't really do, I'm not gonna share it, don't worry. I'm just, it's just like a cool program. It's, I'm not sharing it. I'm not telling you which program, unfortunately. No, you're not making your own ransomware. It was actually, um, it was pretty cool. And now we can open up our programs again, and Explorer runs perfectly.
you know, everything runs perfectly, but we still have these how to decrypt files everywhere. So, and Chrome should work again. It might work, it might not. Let me check. Yep, Chrome works perfectly again. So, yeah, um, yeah, this was, um, I made this, but it's from just a ransomware builder. I'm not, I'm no coder, nor a ransomware maker. I just thought this would be fun to make a video on. So, anyway, guys, um, have a good day. Um, don't worry, I'm not sharing this. We can just set our wallpaper back to what it actually was. So what I, what I actually did, I don't know why it's in temp, but it might actually be in the temp folder. Let's go check out the temp folder. Yep, it's in here. Okay, well, um, let's just, um, let's change it back to what it actually was. Oops, not solid colors, no, not that. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to leave a like if you are interested. And have a good day, guys. And do not get hit with this piece of ransomware. I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys, um, stay secure from ransomware. Don't accept any weird emails you get. M make sure to put it on virus total. Um, just if you get an email, it's an executable file. Either don't open it do or download it and put it on virus total before you open it. Please do not open it. Anyway, guys, have a, um, a secure day. And have a great day. And unfortunately, I have to go to school tomorrow. So anyway, guys, <laughs> have a good day. Goodbye.